yourself project um, for makeup storage right now I'm using like this office little metal type of situation in regards to any of my lip products and a couple of cream eyeshadows um, I have another D um, DIY project I want to do to sit on top of here so I need this space free and to be honest this metal thing doesn't really go with my office decor anymore so um, I picked up a couple of little hanging baskets from a local thrift store for 50 cents and I have a plan to decorate them and put them on this wall um, right now um, I just have a little feature wall here and the three baskets are three different sizes and I'll show you shortly and I'm gonna have my fiance hang them right here in this empty space so let's go right to it hopefully it comes out as a success alrighty guys so these are the baskets I got for 50 cents they come in three different sizes I kind of like the gradient of big to small I think that would look really nice on my wall so those are the baskets the next supply I have is some ribbon. Um, my office is in the color scheme of teal, white, pink, and purple. <laughs> so um, I got some teal ribbon of different hues. This is more like a baby blue, I think, and this is like a teal. And of course, the piece of the restaurants, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these bad boys white. Um, that's another main color in my office. And I have a lacquer um, to spray on top once I'm finished to protect the baskets from pilling or anything in the future. So hopefully I'll be able to do this without spraying too much on my porch. Um, I'm going to use my hands to help me guide to know where to spray. But yeah, those are the tools. Okay, so I'm outside and we have gravel so it's like the perfect place. So here it says do in a well ventilated area, which I'm outside, so that's perfect. And it says not to do it unless it's like um, between 60 to 90 degrees. So it says to hold it about six to eight inches and then spray. I'm going to do a second coat uh, once it fully dries on the, this uh, first side and then flip it over into the back, two coats in coat the back, let it dry, and then put the lacquer, protective lacquer on top of it just like that. But um, what do you guys think? I can't really tell um, until Michael comes back, but I think I did a pretty good job all by myself um, with no sighted guide. <laughs> we shall see. Any spots I missed, I'm sure Michael will, will fix that. I'm liking it. And it's just a regular lacquer. This gives it a high gloss and it protects my lid. It is clear. And I already did one coat. This is coat number two. Just, I'm only going to actually do it on the, um, the part you can see. I did spray paint the back of the back, so I'm not going to worry about putting lacquer on the back. I am going to spray the inside just where I plan on seeing my makeup and I don't want the source of the makeup to scare off the paint too fast. Alrighty, so that's it guys. I'm going to wait for it to dry and I'll add the finished touches and have Michael put them up on my wall. Alrighty, and I just added my ribbon to each basket. I just added the ribbon to each basket, and the ribbon's really simple. Just tie it like you're going to tie a shoelace on your shoe. Um, I have like a burlapy type of ribbon, and then a almost transparent ribbon on top of that. And I think they came out really, really, really cute. So I just wanted to show you guys the finished project. Product. Thank you.